Va salute. This is Troy Pacelli of Last Call, and I'm just here to let you know that the following live stream is rated R for adult language, highly inappropriate jokes, and... Oh, who the f*** are we kidding? We have no idea what is going to come out of Gorilla's mouth. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Saturday Night Review, where we're... Go, where we went on an acid trip here with the movie Constantine. Let's see, I got Resolute Germ. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you doing, bro? No, oh, such beautiful weather. I got a lot of outside work done today. Uh, good for you there, sir. Well, it's 85 and and a nice breeze. And uh, as soon as this bro- so, right, well, as soon as this heat breaks, so we're going to ha- be in for one hell of a storm. Well, we're trying to send it your way. I mean, it's it's blowing wind, and we had some rain here in Toronto, so it's fifty. It's a nice breezy fifty-two degrees. <laughs> well, we we're in a red flag warning. So, hey, how are you uh, doing, Mikey? I'm doing fantastic, and thank you both, gentlemen, for allowing me to peruse this heaven and hell battle struggle. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're just gonna do the three. We're just gonna do the three of us sit tonight on the panel because, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't need to know, see another dick today. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so apparently you two have seen this movie before. I haven't. I haven't even heard of it. Well, Suzanne and I have seen it, and it's really good. And well, we unfortunately we had to give it away when we were. Uh, moving back here to Toronto, you know, from the States. So we're trying to acquire it. And by the way, she did say there's a part two to this. So there's actually two movies, this one and then one other after this. There's eight. Okay, eight. (laughs) 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 She only told me you have two, so. (laughs) I don't know how many parts there is. They're they're trying to make a part two There is a part two after this, yeah. So. Oh, I thought part two was already out. No, it might be uh, trying to be made. It's trying to be made. That's it's been in is. development for several years. Yeah, they've been trying to get it out there. For now, we're we're happy with this one. Yeah, I know. I swear, I seen it on Look Movie. Huh? But you said you never seen it before. Huh. No, but okay. when I went to go look this up, I, I had to. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. There are several other Constantine uh, properties out there. There's something called City of Demons, which is a uh, animated movie. Okay, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's right. But that's like the first live action, right? Gorilla, or yeah. Uh, German? Yeah, uh-huh. All right. Mexico. This is where we all start. Mexico. Why is it they hey, always have bad problems? start in Mexico, be my guest. I ain't going to Mexico. <laughs> so yeah, I started in Mexico. We got these two yep. assholes sitting there digging something up, and he goes and kicks in a piece of wooden paneling there, which I'm surprised his ass just didn't go through the whole damn floor, but that, if he can kick it that much, his ass should have gone through the damn floor. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, do I got subtitles on? No. All right. Do I German, Czech, Chinese, Chinese, <coughs> Bilingo, do we have Finnish, Chinese, and English, Romanian, Portuguese, Spanish, do we have French, Serbian, so uh-huh. Bosnian? Oh, how about English? Do we have English? Yeah, Portuguese, how about English? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we can all translate some weird Chinese language in this thing. Yeah, fuck the Chinese. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, so he kicks us through your... And, yay, we get Uncle Adolf's flag with, with the... With a little miniature dagger-looking thing. That's supposed to be the Spear of Destiny? Yeah. Well, yeah, according, according to the, uh, the Bible, this was supposed to be the spear that pierced the side of Jesus Christ. And he started bleeding blood and water from his body as he was dying on the cross. So, 
somehow the Nazis got a hold of it. <laughs> All right. So he starts yelling. They're, they're yelling in Spanish, and then this happens. Oh. If we're not locking the, locking the, the top floor uh, door. Well, you know, you get a lot more suicides that way if you don't lock the, the, the door to the roof. Duh. Man, you just got to, like, put a triple lock on that sucker door, man. Yeah. So, anyhow, I'm not going to actually show it, but she plunges and she goes in that, that there. Then we got her leg in water. She plunged. Now, she remember. Inside. Yeah. Now, remember, if they do jumps like this, you go, wee. That's what you do. Then you have fun. <laughs> hey, that's going to be the most thrilling five, nine seconds of your life, depending on what floor she jumped from. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guarantee if you jump from the Golden Gate Bridge, it's not going to be we. It's going to be, oh, whoa, and then you hit the water <laughs> at high hey, speed. Well, like half the people survived that, then they regret doing it afterwards. One guy did, yeah. He broke about just about every bone in his body, but still survived. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. nuts. Now they got now they got net now they got nets all, all along the Golden. Can you imagine living in such a a shitty a shitty area that they actually have to put nets on the bridges so, to stop people from jumping off, killing themselves? Yeah. I, well, since you said it was San Francisco, I guess yeah. most people are too depressed to be living and say, "Oh well, if I can't live if I can't live in this city, I must well end it." <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Well, last year it was a beautiful city for about a week, but of course, of course, oh, they, you mean, yeah. of course that Chinese asshole was there, so they cleaned it all up for him. Wow. Yeah, and then it went back hey, to crap again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the city was full of, full of shit shit on the streets, needles and tents everywhere. There, yeah. Uh, G, uh, G, G. Ping announced that he's going to come visit San Francisco. So what they do? They fire hose the the homeless out of the city there. They 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 throw away everybody's tents and picked up the needles and scrubbed every street. They scrubbed the graffiti and painted the graffiti off the walls and everything. Made it look absolutely spectacular. Yeah, for about a week. Right. That was uh, that was a mandate uh, instituted by their mayor, London Breed. Oh. All right. So anyhow, back to the movie. We got nope. him pu uh, puking up some blood and stuff. Then, uh, what was this? Uh, lungs? That's his x-ray. That's, That's his x-ray? Yeah. What, has he got cancer in his lungs or something? Yes, yep. he does. Yep. Oh Well, when he smoked 30 cigarettes a day for how many years? Hey, hello, Suzanne Eckstein. How are you? Hey, yeah. Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne. How's it going? You ever oh, seen this Heaven and Hill show before, Suzanne? You ever seen this? I know my wife has, but the other Suzanne I was asking. Yeah. If she'd ever seen this before. Yeah. Well, what year is this that he's allowed to smoke in the hospital? Uh, I'm well, he's this movie came out in, in 2000. Hospital. Yeah. No. Well, this movie came out in 2005, and I don't think hospitals did allow for smoking. So back then, even then. So. Well, yeah. I know Minnesota. Uh, signed into law in 2002 that smoking was banned from all premises, including restaurants and bars, from uh, all indoor smoking. Well, that's my question: Is did it apply to all states? I don't believe it did. Certain that's ones, bit, yes. I don't know about other a, ones. That was a bit of soda law. Yeah, I'm certain it's illegal at the time in Los Angeles, and yes. I'm certain he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care. He's dying of cancer. Why would he care if he smokes in a hospital? Hey, tell I'm you what. Saying. Tell you what. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> right. By the time you get done and unscrew, screw around in court there, I'll be dead. Right. And, uh... All right. Yeah, yeah. Suzanne said uh, she smoked in 1986. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's a different cut. That's a totally different country, and that was. That's also uh, what six, sixteen years before Minnesota banned it completely indoors. So, 
And Suzanne said she did see the movie before, so cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right. And everybody's just saying hi to each other. Yep. 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 So then this happened. What's this here? Uh, she just found out her sister, sister Epstein herself. Yeah, so, she plays. Uh, she okay. Now this is really cool makeup work. If you look at this, Rachel plays two roles. She plays like that's her twin sister, right? That jumped off the roof. Yeah. And so what they did was they took a, they took a a, a facial. Uh, they they had another lady, you know, made her up. You know, like like Rachel's over here to make it look like that's that she's literally looking at her twin sister, like you know they made up somebody else to look like a twin, like a twin. So it's really now, cool. I mean, I like the makeup work there. So why didn't they just uh, get twins to do the role? Well, I I'm not sure why they did it, but you know it's effective. I mean, it, it works. Yeah, yeah they do it in most by. films. Yeah, they've done it in most films. Most actresses in film tend to go the more lucrative route of pornography. Uh huh. Uh, oh, are you talking well, about? Well, uh, like there, there's like the Olsen twins that could have done it. Yeah, the Olsons probably sure. At the uh, time, I believe the Olsons were like 15. Yeah, they were too young yet. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Sure. Five? Too young. They weren't of age at that point, I don't believe. Well, yeah, not mm. at that point. Oh, that's funny, Suzanne. Huh. More color to him. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, private rooms also. And she goes, my corpses had more color to them than that. That's shameful. Well, Thank didn't you. she land in a pool or something? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, therefore, could a uh, pool have drained the color from her? Yeah, it would have. It would have, yeah, for sure. Okay. So, I hope yeah. you don't mind. Yeah, I hope you don't mind that once in a while Suzanne's going to help too because she really likes, like I said, she really likes this movie. My Go wife does, and she knows a lot about it. So go for it. Ever, ever sit right next to you, to, to, right on the mic. <laughs> well, she's very close by. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, he spoke it, and then she sees, she sees it was like, ah, I want that asshole. Yeah, I don't like so, him. <laughs> then we got this this guy here. Uh, I can't remember. This scene out here, I actually jumped around him. But I missed what was going cool. Are all the animals dying, or is, these, is that what happened? Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's yeah, right. all dead just because of yeah. his presence. Right. Yeah. Like the sheep that bleeded? Well, he bleeded his last because he was right by killed it. Right. <laughs> so and that was uh, it. Suzanne says, uh, yes, sir, I was an uh, apprentice mortician. We had color to mix the uh, chemicals. Okay. That's okay, cool, cool, Suzanne. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so all a good job. And all those animals are dying. Goes, yes. Apart from the spear of destiny, from the spear, it's going to kill something. Right. That's What's this? Right. Yeah, it's that spear tip. What's that? No, we were just talking about the spear tip. The spear of distance you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, just the tip, right? <laughs> it's the tip. Yeah, it's the tip of the spear, not the whole spear. <laughs> no, it's just the tip because the tip always counts. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I think EVP has rubbed off on me too much, man. EVP is way rubbed off on me. Hey, hey, Jer, was I like this before or after I met PvP? You weren't quite this bad. <laughs> See, I corrupted Gorilla. That's my fault. <laughs> and vice versa. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. PvP's turning him into a perverted old man ahead of his time. Ooh. Hey, 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 at least I'm staying off the off the off the list there with my comments. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, so uh, something about Cleopatra, Mike. You want to fill us in on the scene? 
Cleopatra. Hmm. Well, she she did pray to uh, you know dead people in Egypt. So, I don't know. yeah, I, I maybe can't as a president. Yeah, I can't. I just can't remember what's going on with this. And then he has some kind of spoke thing come out. It's it's a ritual, and that's supposed to be the guy that helps him create weapons to fight evil. Okay. Yeah. He says you're my very appreciated apprentice. Well, he's like a scientist, you know, comes up with this stuff. Yeah, that's Shy is just his, right. And Shy is just his driver, so <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that's Dragon's Breath. Right, Dragon's, Dragon's Breath. Breath. Okay. Yeah. So so he's thinking about it there. And I actually like the kid. You do like the what Shia plays in this? Well, I don't know. You're not going to like him later. <laughs> I'm just saying. And Susan says, "Don't be blaming my dear PVP." Oh, uh, we were I blaming. Know PV- I thought PVP would be here today. I thought so too, because then the four of us could have some fun with this. I thought he would be here. Now that's a cool library. Oh yeah, it's a lot so of books have- there. Then we have this bitch here. I don't know what was up with her. Oh, oh that's yeah, he, he, oh, that's yeah. Gabriel. Uh, which uh, Gabriel? Uh, that's Gabriel. Uh, yeah, Gabriel was the was that the angel that was cast down to hell? There. No, no, that, that was Lucifer. Head. Lucifer was the one that was cast down to hell. No, I thought there was another one. Uh, Mammon. Samuel. Yeah. Okay, so then which one was Gabriel? Okay, Gabriel, Gabriel was the was one who sent the... One. Well, yes, but Gabriel was the one that sent the message to the Virgin Mary and said, hey, you're giving birth to Jesus Christ. Okay. That was the messenger, yeah. But, so this is where we get the backstory that he that he Epstein himself there, so uh, that um, and he's trying to redeem himself by doing the the Lord's work to cast out all these demons there, but she's but she's saying you just don't understand. That's not how it works. He committed a mortal sin, so therefore he's bound in destiny, destined for hell because he committed a mortal sin. Okay, so for okay, now this is a uh, actress that plays Gabriel. It's Tilda Swinton. So in order for her. To play the man, the man angel Gabriel, she had to really cut her hair back and did all sorts of stuff. So, but it is an act, that's a, a lady that's playing Gabriel, Tilda yeah. Swinton. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was a, I knew it was a lady, but yes, Suzanne, thank you. Yeah, Gabriel's God's messenger of peace and war. Yep, and she's the one that told uh, yeah. Virgin Mary that Jesus Christ was going to be born mm. uh, from her. So. Said uh, probably pull in overtime. No, he doesn't. Doesn't work Saturdays because most companies in the, that most of his clients are closed on Sundays or mm-hmm. Saturdays. So anyhow, yeah, she, played she was apparently movie. bored with the curse there. Mr. Hooker, Captain Hooker. Well, and then uh, you know, Julie nice. Andrews getting out of Victor Victoria. Yeah, yeah. This was a nice back and forth, but it, but uh, uh but uh, enough to play. Yeah, but in this in this case, like if you get the close up look, you can absolutely tell that that's a woman. You can tell that's a woman actress that's playing Gabriel, even I though it's it was a woman. Man. I yeah. said it, it was is a woman. woman. It, it was never mm-hmm. in doubt that it is a woman, but. It's a woman who has apparently a habit of playing male roles. Right. She, so this she's is not the first time she's done this. So <laughs> she's a transformer. Yes. And we just got to figure out, is she Bumblebee or Optus Prime, Megatron? <laughs> All right. Yeah, right. I'm going to get canceled for that one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we could. We have to be careful. <laughs> it's that TG word. It's like kind of kind of part of that LG, you know, whatever thing. Yeah. No. Hey, we have hey, to be real you got, careful. 
Yeah, if you want to be careful, you can, but uh, I'm going to say whatever the hell I want. Well, you're the host. You can do whatever you want. Sure. I'm not questioning yeah. what you want to do. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, so apparently we got something about 22 women found in the backyard. Someone's backyard. Well, and you have a good one, Miss uh, Eckstein, Suzanne. We love you. Yeah. Good night. Okay, good that's a girl. I need to go rest on it. Well, you have a good, good good day there, Suzanne. Hope you sleep well. Yeah. So any, anyhow, we got this asshole, and he, 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 he yeah, that's a very quick flick, and he missed it. Uh, his eyes rolling in the back of his head. Well, he's yeah. obviously possessed. Is that what we're saying? Guy. <laughs> Keanu Reeves does a fantastic job of just being blunt and to the point and sounding like a complete jackass. He does it well. Yeah, yeah he does play it well, but remember, he's he's addressing a skeptic, one who doesn't really believe in heaven and hell. Well, at least not till close to the end of the film. <laughs> but, you know, uh -huh. anyway. Oh, okay. Let's let's um, just call for the sake of argument. Let's just call Angela for right now. She is a female atheist and a cop. But after that, after what happens to her later, oh yeah, she changes her tune quick. I'll just yeah. say that. I think we got the gist of this scene here. She she requested for help. They they're walking. Blah blah. blah. He walks. Her, he, at least she comes out to the car. Not surprised he got that far. <laughs> oh, this scene was pretty, pretty brutal there, where uh, everything, everything just goes dark, and she goes, uh, "Maybe it's a power outage." But the lights on, it, it was key that, there that he noticed that the lights were still on in, in the store, on the, in the stores. So yeah. uh, apparently, apparently, this thing had no effect on what was going on in the stores. It only had effect on the outside. So, right. like, it couldn't go through the threshold or something of the doorway? I eventually got that. to him. Okay, but but his power did not reach past the threshold of the doorway. So, I'm guessing the doorway stops him from breaking that thresh threshold. Oh, inside his building there. No, there is no need for him to affect the whole area. He's concentrating on the one specific, most likely just that room. Well, they're outside. So he dimmed all the street lights. Oh, yeah. oh, this is the street where they go, and the last thing to go out is like, it's either a Christmas tree or the cross in the window. Yeah. 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 It's slowly expanding and it's an area of effect. It just takes longer to go from one slight source to another. Okay. They they hear a bunch of things and this thing goes down. Oh. Oh. Oh, honey. There's one. Thing. Okay. Yeah. Did you see that thing? That was cool. It drives it. It's driving all these all these demons away. Wow, look at all of them. Uh, now, does yeah. it actually rip, does Dragon Fire rip them apart, or does it uh, just uh, drive uh, them away? That isn't the Dragon's Fire he's using. He had a uh, anointed, either a holy rag in itself, or something with anointed holy water or oil something and he lit it on fire yeah okay so he's sh shining holy light on him yeah All that's right. why it's sending him back to hell yeah and uh by the way suzanne said that uh, midnight used to be a former witch doctor who fought against hell okay so so anyhow and he drives away blah 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 they put this thing in water, and apparently cats are half evil, half good. 
So he shoots well, her out of the apartment. That's then he's holding pretty a cat. Obvious. Yeah, he's holding a cat there. What was the significance of the cat to get it get him to do this? They're half dead anyway. Oh. That's why they're all half evil. Such as half demons and half angels. She is condemned to hell. Yeah. So anyhow. Yeah. She kicks him out and he's like, I really hate this part. And he's staring into the eyes of a cat. Oh, it, it starts the easiest really... path to hell on the face of the earth. And the whole thing is the cat the, the cat was purring the whole time. So he goes into hell. There it is here get blah blah blah. What? And she, he finds her. He finds her in hell. So she was condemned to hell for killing herself. When and... Yeah, look at that ugly fucker. Well, yeah, the reason Isabella did there was uh, Suzanne said that she was a half psychic. She said a full psychic. A full psychic. And she can see half angels and half demons. And she can see half angels and half demons. So that's why she went yeah. to hell. Yeah. Because right. she, went to hell. she killed yeah. herself. Right. Killed herself. Yeah. Right. So that's why she's there. Yeah. yeah. So John, John here, and he is smoking literally, and he needs to go eat. Yeah, and, and we got this guy here, the original priest. And we'll see. In Ironically the... enough, named Father Hennessy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's named after a whiskey. <laughs> you know, this was. You know, can you imagine if this movie was made nowadays? They would. They would have made him a black guy. And they named him uh, Father Hennessy. Can you imagine the hour? Oh man, people would be be freaking pissed. I can just see that happening. Yeah. Maybe so, if they yeah. try a reboot, maybe they try a reboot, make the white guy make Hennessy a black guy. Sure, then they have a reboot of it and be woke. <laughs> Well, well, that would well, that'd be well. Those. Oh, you want your blanket? That's mine from Christmas. Well, you told me you hated it to earlier today. <laughs> that was earlier, gorilla. You know yeah, how her mind got, change. Yeah, now she's got a different time frame here, gorilla. <laughs> All right, here you go. Just wait until right. someday that's going to be she hates you in the morning and then come evening time she's going to be crying and saying, oh, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> yeah. No, she'll, 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 she'll no, get the hate you until, you until she needs me to grab the shotgun. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, he'd be all too happy to grab that shotgun. Yeah. So anyhow, he's visiting her, her and then all of a sudden he gets he, he sprinkles so he, he, apparently he has a drinking problem, doesn't he? Yeah. Anyhow, something happens. He grows out and he goes full. Now, is he like actually drinking it or is it just like uh, I, I didn't get what was going on here. It's like empty, but Well, he can't no. see the it's a trick to get him to drink himself to death. Okay, gotcha. Oh, God, that, that was a mathematical formula or some kind of message. Damn. That is demonic writing. Yeah. Okay. So basically she put demonic writing on the window. So, you know, they're talking, blah, blah. It, this was, uh, uh, this symbol here was important because it's found on all these bodies here. That was, the, that was Lucifer's mark, ain't it? Because it's the it's opposite. The son of Lucifer. Okay, it's the son of Lucifer's mark because it's the opposite of the Christian mark. If I'm remembering correctly. But I cannot remember which Christian thing it was uh, the opposite of. 
The crucifix, most likely. Okay. God, I should have almost invited Salty out for this. So anyhow, <laughs> the, uh, this uh, guy here... Invite someone, invite an expert on religion. What's this guy's job here? Uh, B-Man isn't going uh, for this world. Okay. So might as well go out with a bang, right? I think he's pushed himself too far and uh, he's going to suffer for it eventually. Yeah. And he uh, ran into the uh, demons are pushing the limit. So they're trying to limit Constantine's help. Okay, yeah. so what was with this scene? Uh... It's like a dust devil at first. Yeah, well, he had this this asshole show up. Oh, he's yeah, crossing into the he's crossing the border. Okay, I mean, yeah. he's just getting closer and closer to his goal. Right. Okay. Just so you remember, he's there. Yeah. Then I can't. And they're just talking. Uh, nothing important, really. Hmm. Oh yeah. So, the secret. So do I have to take the rest of my clothes off or can I leave them on? Come on, strip. Who wants to strip? Come on, take them all off. Come on, come on. All right. No, but she doesn't have to. He, he sat there thinking. Yeah, she just needs a little crash course in psychic one hundred and one. Yeah. And apparently water is the best lubricant. But, no. Uh, well, it's also, water is supposed to be the best conduit. It, um, it, to take you to the next plane of existence. To take you to the next plane of existence is what uh, Suzanne said. Oh. So water acts like a conduit to that. So they, so what do they bet better off with, like, salt water like they did in uh, Stranger Things? <laughs> no. What's your body? Salt did water you see if I've ever come out? Yeah, and she said it really doesn't matter. Well, for this, they're using a bathtub for the purposes, but really doesn't matter. You know, he could just take her down to the ocean, put her inside the water there. <laughs> She'd do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Now, hey, did technically, you the salt drink? water can't be anointed. The yeah. Salt water isn't considered pure. Okay. Well, anyway, fresh water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but speaking of salt water, did season five of uh, Stranger Things ever get released? Not that I know of. Yeah, okay. Neither. Yeah. Yeah, so anyhow, he submerges, he helps her, gives her nice back rub so he that she that he can so she can be to him here in twenty years. But puts his hand uh, being very careful not to touch her boob so she doesn't be to him. No, I think he's just forcing her down into the water. He's not yeah. Yeah, he's not. No, he's but not he's, he's carefully placing his hand so he can't get me too. Right. Yeah. They, uh, and it's counterweight. <laughs> Can you just kill yeah. him? <laughs> and they, and they, now they made a walking bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> what about the balance? <laughs> yeah. And she's still smoking as she gets out of the water, just like Constantine yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, natural. Stay in the car. Well, the subtitles don't matter because everything's. Uh... So they yeah, that it's delayed. Yeah, it's delayed, right? Yeah. No, I know, but it's it's funny to read the lines anyway. Sometimes they're they're. They're quite yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they run into a demon thing here. And yeah. he was, and he, he says it back to... Now, he sent the demon to hell to heaven there. So is that pretty much like the hell for demons? If I send him to heaven? Yeah. He's not quite there yet. Yeah. Uh, he was bluffing. 
Oh. He has to ask for absolution to be forgiven. And the right. demon obviously wasn't asking for any absolution. Hmm. Yeah, but I thought that'd be like the way to send the demon to complete misery and hell by doing that. Oh! No, he completely bluffed Balthazar out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the one thing I hate about this, where they have this here, is um, I keep accidentally clicking the thing above it. So, the Balthazar there, he he's dead. Yeah, he's fired him. He... That bitch angel Gabriel killed him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he goes there in. Yep. Yeah, so, so yeah, they're 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 talking shit back and forth, back and forth. And she knocks his ass out. He wakes back up. <laughs> what did we say, honey? Bad Gabriel, bad. <laughs> then she goes and attacks her. Yep. Yeah, she has the spear and is about to unleash hell on earth. Yep. Mr. Mammon. Jealousy humans. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So they're just be going back and forth and something significant yeah. with the blood here. Uh, well, he cut she, his own wrists. Yeah, that, yeah. and here's the, th here's the spear. He's dying... Fast, but not fast enough. Well, they said that he did it so that he could do a self-sacrifice and counteract what was happening. Yeah. Okay. He had to get uh, Satan there in person. Yeah. Uh, that's this asshole. Yep. yep. So he's lighting up a cigarette, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're... And yeah, and this guy that plays Lucifer, he's been in some films, too. I recognize yeah. his face. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, he's probably he be way down on the list. Evil Are you talking about Peter Storm Stormare as yeah. Satan? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. Uh, now, yeah. if you recognize, now here's here's the movie for you guys. If you recognize these two together, what was the next movie they they acted in together? I'm guessing. Uh, the Brothers Grimm? No. I believe it's Matrix Revolutions. That and John Wick. John Wick 2. Okay. Let's yep. see. He was in the Destiny stuff, uh, The Grand Duke of Crossing, American Gods, Animaniacs, Cryptzone, The Box, uh, Fargo, The Grimm Brothers, Armageddon. Yeah, it's in John Wick Destiny, also. Yeah. Yeah. The Assassin's Code. A lot of stuff I'm not recognizing. There, the Elder Scrolls, Justice League. Yeah. Those who can't. Man. Yeah, so he did a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now he's talking to him, asking for his help. <laughs> That's pretty sad. <laughs> hey, damn you, devil! I need your help. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah but I well, can't he's remember what... the devil out too. Yeah, but yeah. I can't remember what he was saying to him though. Is it really the, important? How, how's the fa not really? It's uh, how's the family? How's the boy? Hey, guess what your boy's doing in the other room? Yeah, right. Hey, yeah. I just am. Um, your son's in another room, about to be born. Yeah. But he tells, but he tells uh, the devil that, uh, you know, God, John tells the devil that he's willing to sacrifice himself so that she can go to heaven. Yeah. So state, Satan steps in, stops uh, the plan to unleash hell on earth. Yeah. Ironic, he stops hell on earth. Yeah, that's irony for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but if he can't lead it, he don't want it. Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, he comes through and he stops him. Blah blah blah. And Gabriel has officially been disowned. Yeah. yeah. And he dies right. No, he doesn't die, but 
Oh, he's dead well, right now. Becomes human. Oh. He yeah, becomes yeah, even worse, he becomes human. Yeah. Oh. So he's Gabriel's getting a second. been flung yeah. into the water. Uh Satan's over there gloating over Constantine's dead body. And he's about to drag him off to hell. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. But then uh this uh... Yep. He sacrificed his deal so the sister could go to heaven. That's <laughs> his own way into heaven. Yeah, and he had to flip off the devil there. Well, so, yeah. So the devil sticks his hands in there and they come out black. He and, literally oh. rips the cancer out of him. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, he, he eradicates all of the cancer inside him. Okay. So then, and yeah. The there's you there. there. Yeah. He's going to give John the chance to prove he belongs in hell. All right. And he said he'll be waiting for him when he does die again. All right. Yeah, so that's pretty much our the final showdown there. Yeah. Then they go start, start making out and doing it on the roof. Oh, so I might be adding stuff here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah but they won't, the they won't all get nude up people. there, so... Yeah, they're yeah. not going to get nude up there, so I, I, I would probably skip this part. <laughs> no, nah, I was making a joke, <laughs> but yeah, you know, they, they get the spirit destiny back, and then we yeah, got... they can never see each other again because she has to go protect the spear from everybody, including him. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't, don't yeah, don't forget the end scene at the cemetery there. Uh, oh, what well. did I get to? That's why I haven't stopped sharing yet. Okay, okay, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Yes. I'm good. It's so hard to train you apes. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah, like I'm we have Jim Goodall in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even some even some Spanish songs made the soundtrack. <laughs> Woohoo! Why is it saying black screen? I'm not sure. Keep going though. Now it's playing. Yeah, now it's playing. There, you there go. it is. Hi, Chess Kramer. You're you're in a grave. Hey. Yeah. So. Hey, you're in a grave for oh. right now. You yeah. Good kid. Yeah. And he says you did good kid. I gotta pause it because fuck whoever made this movie is gonna copyright the shit out of it. Oh, it's yeah. your favorite company. Sure. It's Warner they love Brothers. You. Oh, Warner yep. Brothers. Hey, yeah. yeah, it's the Warner Brothers movie fucking division, which is a bunch of assholes. <laughs> now, now, Warner that, Brothers via New Line. Now, what's that yeah, symbol on there? What's the uh, symbol on the cigarette kit on the cigarette lighter? I can't see it clearly. Yeah, I is can't see it. The I don't. They well, never really mentioned it. Okay. Yeah, they never really examined it, so. Yeah, so he gave up smoking, I'm guessing, so he's giving him his lighter. Yeah. Was never human. He was always a half breed looking out for John. He was always a yes, hobbit. That's true. Yeah, he was always a hobbit. He was always the hobbit. Yeah. He was his hands laughing at that one girl. <laughs> yeah. And that's his right. John off to no end because he hates half breeds, be them angel or demon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Mikey, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Well, I, after seeing it a few times, and I really do want to get it back because Suzanne and I really enjoy it. We gave it both a straight A because it is a fun movie, even though there, there are some, like some parts that don't quite make sense. But then that's the beauty of it because eventually the action catches up with the story. And yeah, that that ending fight scene is you know between Gabriel and him and Lucifer and yeah yeah and, and trying to release Mammon that's really cool. So I, I still think that's a great fight scene at the very end. So yeah, we gave it an A, and I, I'd say four and a half out of five stars. What do you think, honey? Yeah, yeah, the same. All right, Germ. What about you? Uh, yeah. Very good movie for what it is. Uh... It should be noted that this is about as comic accurate as 
about as uncomic accurate as you can get. Yeah. You still call it Constantine. But uh, for what it is, it's a very good movie. I'd say B minus. Okay. B minus. As for me, you always got to enjoy a Keanu Reeves movie there. You know, it had a few humorous things that made, made me laugh. And it, it had very good pacing. It kept me going and kept making me want to listen. Listen, that kind of slowed me down on my stuff I was doing while I was sitting there watching and listening to this thing here. You know, and it was a slow, it was a nice build up to the final fight scene with the devil there. And then you got yeah. to love the final fuck you with uh, LaShawn. Or, or <laughs> yeah, with Chaz Kramer turning into an angel. Yeah, that. And you know what? It's funny. This was one of the first movies during that early part of the 2000s that people didn't expect that after you had the end credits, you have a post credit scene. That's one of the first times yeah. they did that with the uh, the DCEU or the MCU. So oh, yeah. I I always hate I always hated that that uh, those end credit scenes. I yeah. don't believe it was included in the theatrical cut. Yeah, it's not in the theatrical, but it is included in the DVD and the Blu-ray edition. So that's why you should get the DVD at, or the Blu-ray of this movie because right. it yeah, will buddy. show that post credit scene. Yeah. Yeah, so. I'm gonna give it an A minus just because I was enjoying it at, at there. You gotta love Keanu Reeves and that one. Oh, kid, Keanu kid Reeves there. kicks like ass in just about anything, right? I mean, like the, yeah. the dude is awesome. And it, it gets higher rating just for for that. Uh, quit with the Switzerland neutrality bullshit. <laughs> but you know what sold it for me guys was are the playing with the rules. Machine the gun. Broken. Yeah, but you know what's so oh, yeah. for me was the Chris Fix Machine Gun, man. Come on, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, I'd love to have a like that. Shoot the holy water bullet there. And crap. Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. it's pretty good. And it and it's not like they used the same weapon over and over again. They kept switching the weapons up too, which is well, yeah, nice. which was cool. Yeah, very cool. One time he turns the sprinkler system to holy water, the next thing he has a shotgun with the in the shape of a cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, alrighty, but thank you, Suzanne X team, for coming there, and thank you, Jim's Landscaping LLC, number one Commodore Productions, for coming. You have some great uh, Star Trek fan films out there, so make sure to check those out. And also, thank you, LDG hashtag Free the Net for coming. If you ever need IT help or need a place to hang out, there's always slash underground and thank you, Taylor Swift, creator of the Disney, Star Wars, and MCU combined. All right, Mikey, what do you got going on? Okay, well, as we said, next week, uh, we normally have uh, streams and webcams that we do Monday through Thursdays during reviews of, uh, respectfully, A-Team along with The Greatest American Hero and Shazam and The Secrets of Isis. But because next week... Uh, Suzanne and I will be celebrating our eighth wedding anniversary. Um, plus, we do have a few personal matters we have to attend to during the week. So uh, there won't be any of the streams next week, but I will be lurking around other people's uh, chats and so forth. So, you know, keep an eye out for me. And uh, I want to thank my beautiful wife, Suzanne, also for helping tonight uh, with our reviews. So thank you, honey. Oh, Appreciate that. So, yeah. But then, you know, after, after next week, uh, then... We go back to our regular schedule, and I'll let you guys know that the next time we see you. So. All righty. Uh, Germ, how about you? Well, we got Sci Fi Cinema on Tuesdays with Andromeda, Nerd Night pan uh, Roundtable panel on Thursdays, and Saturday morning cartoons. The poll for which will be up tomorrow yeah. morning. And your Saturday morning cartoons next week will have 100% less dick, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, well, and some dildo getting shot out of the ass. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You missed it, Mikey, this morning. Oh, I, oh, oh okay. I guess I did. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who was blaming me for what? <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. Unless you're a black guy, you're not the one that whipped it out and had a dildo shoot out of your ass on uh, Germ Stream. 
<laughs> yeah. Also, since PVP is here, I wanted to mention that tomorrow he's doing a uh, a uh, stream with uh, antiderivative Jill um, about the Avengers uh, TV series with uh, Diana Rigg and uh, Patrick McNeese. So check that out. That's going to be about one o'clock p.m. Eastern time, twelve noon tomorrow. So yeah. <laughs> And we and we got a what the fuck out of out of yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm surprised he's saying it because normally Gorilla, you're the one who says F. <laughs> and he's oh, saying he said it plenty this morning. Hey, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, oh, I oh, forgot. I was laughing there. I was, that's why I asked uh, when you let Mike out. I was like, did you verify it was Mikey though for sure? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he says about 10 a.m. Pacific. Okay, yes. Thank you, PVP. I just wanted to mention it to them so that they can watch that tomorrow. Who doesn't love the Avengers theme song? Come on. It's All British. Right, so it's awesome. Whatever. <laughs> All right. At, uh, it goes about 10 a.m. Pacific, unless Jill goes for tacos. All right. As for me, tomorrow, the winner of the poll by, stop, by over 50%. But with 77% of the poll was Super Troopers there. Now, yeah. our next, then on Wednesday, it will be a justified watch party. Uh, cringe, we should have Cringe Talk this Thursday. We should. Then on Friday, it's the Walters Review, uh, ep Season 3, Episode 7. I cannot remember what it's called. And then, uh, then what's that James Bond movie I picked? Uh, you picked Doctor No. You started with the very first one, and it introduces Connery as Bond. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, John DeMarco will be streaming tonight because I don't know what happened with Pops there. So let's all go. Let's do. I'll do a grill raid at uh, John DeMarco's there. So at that, Chet Murray. A, there we go. That yeah. sounds good. You guys have a good night, and remember to be a gorilla. Good night, everyone. <laughs>